everyone. Uh, welcome to the 2024 and very first Radiologic Technology Pinning Program. It's very exciting for the college. Uh, my name is Gabby McColgan. I am the director here uh, for the Radiologic Technology Program. We are so excited to see all of you here with us today to celebrate and honor our graduates. Without all of you, family, friends, clinical staff, instructors, who I see some are with us here today, and administrators, this day would not be possible. Some of you may wonder what exactly it means to work in the field of radiology. Um, technologists are an integral part of the healthcare team and play a significant role in the patient's experience. The students here today have demonstrated all the necessary skills to be a successful radiologic technologist. They have mastered hundreds of anatomic landmarks and projections. They can employ radiation safely and effectively to produce an image for diagnosis and they are confidently able to navigate many patient conditions to provide excellent patient care. Over the past 20 months, I have witnessed all of you grow into competent radiographers. You should all be proud of what you have accomplished so far. I would now like to introduce the president of Quincy College, Dr. Richard DeCristofaro. <laughs> Congratulations uh, to you. Um, and thank you, uh, Program Director uh, Gabrielle. Uh, as well as Provost uh, Yatin and Dean Manning, uh, Program Coordinator Gina uh, Tice, and uh, as well as uh, Clinical Coordinator Erin and Downing. Thank you uh, for all of your work, as well as clinical partners that may be here today. Thank you for your role, critical role, uh, in this great program. And welcome to uh, parents and grandparents and family and, and uh, friends of our graduates. It really is uh, an honor uh, to be here to congratulate all of you and to share the pride that Quincy College has in you as well as the Quincy College community. We hold a, a tremendous uh, admiration for you, for your work ethic, uh, which you'll carry on, I'm sure, uh, and your vision to do what's really great for you in your life and create a great light at the end of the tunnel. So this fine program really has offered you an excellent foundation to work in the front lines of the healthcare industry as radiographers. I think that's the right term. If not, just nod, and that'd be great, okay? <laughs> All right. It has also positioned you for other healthcare pathways in imaging, uh, MRI, mammography, interventional, it, interventional uh, radiology, ultrasound, sonography, as well as computed tomography, which, as you know, is CT. So in your successful student cohort, you're either interviewing or you've landed jobs already in hospitals at South Shore and St. Luke's and Brigham and Women's or Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. And there are so many other workplace opportunities for you in clinics, in urgent care, uh, in imaging and pain uh, management centers. There's a lot of opportunity out there. So your future is absolutely incredibly bright. Great choice. And although I know you will miss our outstanding staff, you know, thank you very much, and I know you'll miss them very much, and I know you've learned so much. You'll miss your Seville uh, classroom. You'll miss the energized room. You'll miss the x-ray tube. <laughs> and of course, you'll miss the phantoms. So we really are very, very proud of you and proud of your accomplishment. And always remember to not just be ordinary in your field, be extraordinary. And I wish you and the college wishes you the very, very best of luck in the future. Congratulations to you. Thank you, President Cursofaro. None of this could have happened without your uh, vision for this program. It was uh, your idea, and uh, the rest of the team made it happen. So thank you for that. And thank you to Gina uh, Tice. Without her, I don't know what we could have done. So thank you for all that hard work. Uh, Dean Manning, Gabby, Aaron, our um, adjunct faculty and staff, clinical instructors, and partners, and Quincy College uh, faculty and staff. Thank you. With that, good morning. Good morning. Radiologic technology graduates, family, friends, uh, I am very honored to welcome you to Quincy College's first radiologic technology pinning ceremony. 
Today we stand together to celebrate your monumental achievement. Radiologic technology is one of those remarkable and rigorous programs. It is not just a field of study. It's a journey that demands precision, critical thinking, and immense capacity for compassion. Each of you navigated this demanding program with remarkable resilience. To reach this milestone, not only you have mastered physical and biological sciences and general education curriculum, but also you have spent countless hours mastering the intricacies of medical imaging, from producing, validating, and interpreting complex scans to understanding the profound nuances of patient care. Your, ha your hard work has not gone unnoticed. Your class is a very significant one for the college. Even before we accepted you into the program as our first Rad Tech class, we counted on you for the success of the program. We invested in this program and we invested in you. Failure was not option for any of us. Each of you worked hard and excelled and proved to us that all investment was worth. So thank you for that. Your hard work um, has not gone unnoticed. Thanks to your wonderful faculty and your hard work, you all received five-star evaluations, right? The clinical <laughs> sites. You all received five-star evaluations from your clinical sites, making us proud and paving the way for the students in the next class and the next. Employers have taken notice as well of your hard work. It's a testament to your tenacity and skills that all of you have already secured positions. Am I right? Yes. This is no small accomplishment in a world that we live in now, where the healthcare landscape is more dynamic than ever. Your immediate entry into the workforce is a clear indication of the trust and confidence that the medical community places in your ability. Your Quincy College family and those family members and friends present here today are proud of you. We are confident in you and we are filled with great optimism about your future. Candidates, I'm so proud of you, I should say graduates. I'm so proud of you and of all the faculty that guided you along the way. After months and years of hard work since your first day at Quincy College, on this day, August 8, 2024, you will be awarded your uh, school pin. Quincy College's first radiologic technology pin. Cherish it. Today, this pin signifies the sacrifices you made to get to this point. Years from now, it will bring back fond memories of faculty, study groups, and friendships developed through shared adversity and persistence. As you embark on your professional journeys, remember that the knowledge and skills you possess are not just tools, but lifelines. It is not just what you do, but how you do it. Every image you produce and interaction you have with your patients will have a profound impact in their lives. Radiology is a field where compassion meets technology. And it is your empathy combined with your expertise that will make the difference. Your ability to see beyond the skins and connect with the patients through their stories will define your success and fulfillment in this noble profession. Also remember that the bond you share with your classmates and instructors is invaluable. You are now rising to the rank of alumni, joining a network of support, camaraderie, and lifelong learning. I encourage you to stay connected with the college and each other. Graduates, Thank you for choosing Quincy College to help you shape your journey. And with that, I extend to each of you my heartfelt congratulations. Once again, congratulations.
welcome. Welcome, President D. Cristofaro, Provost Yatton, our Brad Tech Director, Clinical Coordinator, our clinical partners that are here in the room, family, friends, and most important, our graduates. I am honored to be able to speak here for the first Quincy College Rad Tech pinning. This is a momentous occasion and you sh today should be recognized for all your hard work. I know it has not been easy balancing your personal lives with the rigor of the program. It was no small feat, but I admire you did it and I am proud of you. Throughout your journey, I have witnessed your stress, your anxiety, tears, sleepless nights, but I've also seen determination, happiness, and joy when you succeeded, especially some of you yesterday after that HESI test. Oh <laughs> As a group of students, you have studied together, laughed together, and cried together. Pinning is the culmination of the joy, sadness, challenges, and achievement that each and every student has achieved, and you should celebrate it. Great job, you did it. We at Quincy College cannot be any more prouder than we are today of this group. And I wanna leave you with just a couple thoughts. In the words of Nelson Mandela, Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. As healthcare professionals, lifelong learning is the surest way to ensure that your best practice and evidence-based care. The pin you received today does symbolize the knowledge and skills that you have achieved. As you accept this pin, I challenge you to maintain high standards Lead by example. Remember the faculty and colleagues of Quincy College. Stay connected as an alumni. Leave us and go out and make a difference and no matter what path you choose, whether you stay in radiologic technology or one of the modalities you may choose. Seek to advance your education and come back. Come back to us and help teach. You could help teach our future classes after you get experience. You can be the preceptor of our next cohort. So uh, stay connected with us. We need you in the future. My, again, my heartiest congratulations to each and every one of you. Gina Tice was the first person to be hired to be part of this program. She established our curriculum she made connections within the community to establish some of our early on clinical partnerships and she has helped with course instruction as well. All while working remotely over 1400 miles from here. At this time I would like to invite Gina to come forward and share her reflections of the program. Thank you. Um, I would like to start by thanking Dr. Uh, D. Cristofaro, Dr. Yatton, Dean Manning, Gabby, and Aaron for inviting me to come back for this pinning ceremony. This is my first time in Massachusetts, so I'm very excited to be here. Uh, at Garrett, Aaron is new to the program, and I really look forward to being a part of the program and watching her grow in her uh, new position. And Gabby has been with uh, the program pretty much since the onset and has really been the lifeblood of this program, being here with the students. And although new to the educational environment, she has taken it as if she was meant to be here. She is a blessing to this program, the college, and to me. It has been great getting to know everyone um, here at Quincy College and these very, very special students. I uh, actually was able to spend the last few days with them doing some certification review, which um, I will say in all the years I was teaching, I, my teaching partner would say, well, how'd class go? And I'd say, well, I had a good time. And I want you to know, I don't know how it was for you, but I had a good time. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a good couple of days to be able to spend with you. 
Uh, it's been quite an experience getting this program off the ground, and time has really flown since I first met with Dr. Yetten. Uh, it, everything has not always gone as smoothly as we had hoped uh, and planned, but learning to be flexible in life is a very important skill. When I was a program director, one of the first things I would say to students when they start in the program is, if you don't learn anything else while you're here, you will learn to be flexible. Because things never go as planned. They don't go as planned educationally, and they definitely don't go as planned when you're out in the clinical site, do they? Oh. No. It'd be great if it was all like it is in the textbook, but it's not. <laughs> so it's, it's always, uh, you know, good to be flexible and just kind of go with the flow because things will always work out in the end. So you have persevered and you are now on the cusp of your professional careers. So exciting. Uh, as you prepare to go into the workforce, I want to share part of a poem by Robert Fulgham. It's entitled, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. Um, it's about the importance of things in your life. All I really need to know about how to live and what to do and how to be, I learned in kindergarten. Share everything. Play fair. Don't hit people. Would that be assault or battery? Good answer. Uh, put things back where you found them. Clean up your own mess. Don't take things that aren't yours. Say you're sorry when you hurt someone. Wash your hands before you eat, and other times, you know, we've got hand sanitizer everywhere all the time now. Um, and warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. Live a balanced life. Learn some, think some, and draw and paint and sing and dance and play and work every day some. And no matter how old you are, when you go out into the world, it is best to hold hands and stick together. You have been doing that for nearly two years now. Keep doing it. You have forged great friendships that will last a lifetime. I graduated from radiography school in a class of eight as well. There were eight people in my class. Um, I still have three classmates that I am in touch with regularly. And that it will, next month will be 40 years since I graduated. Yes, you weren't even a twinkle in anybody's eye uh, 40 <laughs> years ago. Um, I've had um, very few original thoughts. I just read the poem. Um, but I do have a couple of other quotes that I would like to share with you because other people really have a way of saying things that are very important. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who we hear quoted on many occasions, said, that if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets even as Michelangelo painted or Beethoven composed music or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well. You have chosen to be radiologic technologists do your job well. To take this one step further, William A. Foster, a Marine who was awarded the Medal of Honor, spoke these words. Quality is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, and skillful execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. So I say to you, make wise choices. And to kind of lead to what Dr. De Cristofario said, remember the difference between being ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. Give that little extra. Be extraordinary. It has been an honor and a privilege to be a part of this program to have worked with so many very kind and helpful people here at Quincy College, and to have been a part of your educational experience. Congratulations and best of luck in your future endeavors. Marlena Villar.
is one of our graduates who has worked very hard over these past two years, along with everyone else. I would like Marlena to come forward at this time and share her reflections on her experience in the program. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming. Um, I'm a little nervous, so just bear with me. Um, okay, so just to give you a little background, I graduated prior to coming to this program from Quincy College. So I graduated with my healthcare administration. I kind of knew I wanted to do more, so I came back. Um, and with that being said, there's a saying that what is meant for you will always be for you. I never took that saying literally until now. This program opportunity was a coincidence at first. Quincy College reached out to me via email to apply to the program since I had graduated back in 2019. At that time, I was at the highest position position possible in my department, yet still not making enough money as a single mom who wanted a better future and to buy a house. I needed more in life, a better source of means, a job that I love, not the same routine day in and day out, so I applied. At first I was hesitant. The application was a $50 fee. It was a full-time program and I couldn't work full-time while going to school full-time. But I found a way and made sacrifices that I knew would be worth it. With the help of my family and loved ones who are here today, I made the schedule, made financial arrangements, and went for it. I got accepted and that's when my whole life changed. I thought this was gonna be a breeze and was gonna be easy like when I first graduated and got my associate's degree. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> and was in for a big surprise. I almost failed my first exam. That's when I knew I had to change my studying habits and the amount of time this program required. I sacrificed my time with my family and friends, events and trips, but all while reminding myself it will all pay off at the end. It was hard, many late nights, a lot of crying and frustration, a lot of moments I wanted to give up and felt so discouraged. But when I was in clinicals, I loved it. The patient care, how much I was able to change patient experience, how a little goes a long way in someone's life because you never know what they're going through. Even at my lowest moments, I knew this is where I wanted to be and this was meant for me. Life was really lifing, if everybody knows what that means. During the two years of this program, I had a death in a family. I had to uproot my daughters to different schools. Financial issues came up often and yet I still never quit. I still try to stay focused and accomplish everything I needed to with the highest spirit possible and try to stay positive. I would not have been able to get this far if it wasn't, if it wasn't for the support of my teachers. They were available anytime I reached out. They made time for Zoom calls and outside classroom time. I want to especially thank Gabby. She was there for me from day one and always believed in me even when I didn't believe in myself. Up to the very last moment, to yesterday. <laughs> She had to come outside and give me a hug and said, I knew you could do it. And I appreciate that so much. I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for you and your support. School was never my strongest point, but she saw how far I've come from day one and always said, you're going to be okay. I also want to thank my family, who's here today. My daughters, you guys have put up with a lot, but you guys know that I did this for you and for our future and to my loved ones for supporting me and putting up with all my mood swings and crying and just hearing me out. Especially want to apologize to my sister who's really mad at me right now because this last month I had to focus and I didn't spend time with her. Um, okay, um, I could not have done this without you guys. This program was life changing and provided me with endless possibilities in my future. This is just the beginning and yet still more to come. Whether I decide to choose another modality or go back to school for my bachelor's degree, there are endless opportunities to this program, thanks, in this program, thanks to this program. <coughs> Thank you to all my classmates um, who's helped me and been there for me, a lot of you, a lot of late nights, Meg. <laughs> um, we leaned on each other and came out as a first class of the radiologic technology program at Quincy College. We're the only eight people who can never say that and that's a privilege. I want to end off by saying, what is meant for you will always be for you. Believe that and everything else will fall into place. I believe and know this was meant for me now. Thank you. All of our students have worked very hard to make it to this occasion. They all deserve our recognition. But we do have three awards to present for academic and ec clinical excellence. Erin, if you can please come forward. <coughs> Excuse me. Our first award is for academic achievement. 
It is awarded to the student who has maintained the highest GPA in all radiologic technology courses. The recipient of this award has maintained a 4.0 average throughout the program. Nicole Caterivas, please come forward. Our next award is for clinical excellence. It is awarded to the student who has achieved the highest average score on all the professional qualities evaluations which are completed by our clinical preceptors at our partner facilities. The recipient of this award is Kelly O'Neill. Our final award is the Peer Award. All of the students were provided a nomination form which asked them the following. Please nominate one of your cohort classmates to accept the award. This student has demonstrated a commitment to becoming a radiologic technologist. They have demonstrated growth, leadership, and compassion in the classroom. The students were asked to provide a reason for the nomination. Here are a few comments that were received about this student. This student is always willing to help with a big smile on their face. They have been supportive to all classmates. They have great academic and interpersonal skills. They are a hard worker and considered a leader in the class. The recipient of this peer award is Nicole Caterivas. At this time, I would like all of the graduates to stand, turn and face the audience. <laughs> this is a very important group of people that have been with you over the last two years. They have provided love, support, and helped you reach this milestone. Let's give them a round of applause. Hey, Megan Del Signor. Wasim Fakri. Nicole Caterivas. Kelly O'Neill. Bruno Pereira. Marlena Villar. Catherine Kitty Walsh. Thank you so much. 
And Angela Zaiba. Congratulations to you all. Thank you all so much for being here today, and thank you to some of our first year students are also here with us uh, that have been helping out with today's program. Please join us for some light refreshments as we celebrate our graduates. Again, congratulations. Thank you.